every day we get 200,000 new members. Every second, two people join LinkedIn. We're growing extremely quickly. And in fact, if you think about what that means, we judge the entire professional population of the planet Earth is about 600 million. And so we have about one in two of every professional in the world. 100 million of those are in the United States. So think about that. 100 million professionals in the US, or on LinkedIn in the US. Only 300 some million people live in the US. A lot of those are children and retirees. So of the professional population, most everyone's on LinkedIn at this point. Sometimes it's helpful for attorneys to understand that this is very different than Facebook. Right, this is very different than, than what you're, you're seeing people do on you know, a lot of the social media networks. On Facebook or other types of personal networks, it's more about information on friends. All right, we're thinking about personal, personal interests, entertainment updates. All right? You go there more to spend time. All right? When people go to LinkedIn, they think more about investing their time. Right? I'm hoping that by my investment in the time I'm putting in on LinkedIn, I'll get some kind of return on this investment. And that comes in the way of learning more about my career. What are people in my network doing? What are they saying? What are the thought leaders saying about the legal profession right now? What about updates on brands? How do I learn more about the different firms that are out there and what they're doing? What are the great ideas that they have? And then finally, current affairs. So it's a great place to learn just not only about your industry, but about your clients. What are your clients doing? And this is one of the things that I think could be most beneficial for a lot of your attorneys is understanding what's going on in the daily life of my clients. What are the things that I should know about when I engage in a conversation with them that I wouldn't know about had I not been in involved in some type of professional network? The reason it's important for your attorneys to be on and use this is money. Whether it's making them money or alternatively making your firm money, it is so easy to put LinkedIn on autopilot and allow the natural traffic that your employees are receiving to drive revenue to either themselves or alternatively the firm in general. Take your job description, your standard job description when you're looking at your law, whether it be litigation attorney, contracts attorney, construction attorney like Jason, highlight the words that are an absolute necessity in that job description and somehow incorporate them into your profile. That's the first thing you wanna do. As an attorney, not someone looking for law, I was only allowed to practice bankruptcy and foreclosure. If I received any other case, I was legally restricted to take that case. What did I want to do? I wanted it to give, give it to someone that I like. So I would go on LinkedIn and type in model law or whatever, whatever the case may be, only working with supermodels, of course. <laughs> um, what, whatever it is that I do not do, but I want to give that to someone that I know in that area. It's so simple for me to look in my own network and give that case to another individual who, I, who I'm friends with, but I will not find that out unless they have that verbiage on their profile. The coolest part about it is you can be a one-person firm and be so dominant on LinkedIn because you understand how to leverage it. It's so easy, put in simple keywords where you want to describe your own job. The biggest thing about LinkedIn is you don't know who you know. You're not searching only your connections, you're searching their connections as well as their connections, their third degree. With that, like I said, as a, as a standalone attorney, I have no idea what people practice in law. I know what my brother does. He's an attorney. Outside that, I graduated with 80, 100 kids, and I don't know what area of law they practice, but I'd be more than happy to push them in case. It'd be an absolute pleasure. If your attorneys are not doing this, they are missing out, especially in a circumstance. So that's, that's <laughs> on a marketing thought process, an entire company process. A couple of things, like I work primar primarily with legal companies. So a couple of things that I've kind of noticed over probably the course of the last year. Um, to your question, Margaret, like how do, you, how do you get your attorneys on LinkedIn? Why do they even want to be on LinkedIn? Um, and it's interesting. It's definitely something that's uh, a topic of conversation in most firms I go into, particularly with maybe the older generations of partners. It's very much kind of encouraging them to be on LinkedIn from not just their own perspective, but also the firm's perspective. Because at the end of the day, people do business with people, and law firms are no exception. You are definitely big companies, but you are people people. And people want to know who they're doing business with. Let's talk about your firm's brand. And key ways to kind of build it out. So first of all, you guys all know what you're good at, what you do, 
I'm sure there's, there's law firms here that are very specific and then there's larger ones that do a lot of everything. In terms of the amount of targeting we can do, we can get really granular with it, which is why from marketing's perspective, it can make it so much more specific. So once you're putting out information and you know who you want to see this information and who you, who you want it to go in front of, you want to engage them and build that trust as you guys are a company that comes with industry information, I want to follow it and I want to receive that information. I trust that the information you're giving me is useful and relevant. And build strong communities. So once you start building your content and pushing content out and engaging people more and more on LinkedIn, you're going to garner more and more followers because more people will see you as a thought leader, whether it's lots of different industries you guys work across or you're very specific in Adam's case in bankruptcy law, whatever it might be, you can build a very strong following in that area. Your company page on LinkedIn really is your destination to establish your company's identity. You have space there to put in your logo, um, all of your employees, once your, your employees are connected into your company, all of them will appear here on your company page. We'll have your contact information, your website, telephone number, basically how to get in contact with you guys. Um, any jobs that your HR department have on LinkedIn will all be up here as well. So let's talk a little bit more about the followers. So I was talking about putting content out on LinkedIn and from a marketing perspective, followers are huge. So followers are people that have put their hand up to say, hey, we actually find you guys really interesting. We like the content that you post. Um, we're just gonna follow you guys um, because we want to receive the content first whenever you put it out. Followers can be a really kind of direct channel and really good way to build out your brand socially because your followers, again, as I said, have put up their hand and said they want to follow you guys, they're interested in receiving information. They're six times more likely to like and share and engage with the content you put out. Might I also add that 79% of the people that follow you guys want to work for you. So from your HR perspective, it's a really good starting point to kind of take a dive in and look at what attorneys are following you there.